What's going on guys, my name is Will Sickness and today this is the Battlefield 1 Try Hard Mode Settings video. So, first of all, we are going to have to go straight over to More Options and first of all, we are going to go into Control. So, 20%. This is because I feel like the lower your sensitivity is, the more accuracy you're going to have because but then if you have a really fast mouse, you won't even know where you're going to go. And for my DPI levels, I am using 400 as I'm on that one. I've got like different ones, but 400 is for my battlefield. Next one, vehicle mouse entity, 20. Rural mouse input, on. Always do that. If you turn it off, it goes, it, it makes your mouse sometimes go a little bit fast. Vibration off, just in case I have a controller connected for like a racing car game or something. I don't want it to be like vibrating on my desk. Uh, soldier mouse sprint hold and then all the other ones are default these are all the best ones to do personally so gamepad you don't need because who uses a controller so um this advanced section scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll find uniform soldier aiming turn that on and leave it to default at 133 percent the reason why i use this is because if you turn it off, then when you aim in with a sniper, a shotgun, assault rifle, whatever, especially snipers, your sensitivity will change compared to the 20% and the 400 DPI. That is why I turn it on. Um, so, yeah. The next one is basic. So, obviously, show the HUD unless you want to go full immersion and record a 4K 60fps video. Uh, player created content, show because it looks cool. Chat log. I hide it because I feel like it's a distraction when it's up there. Uh, inventory, I always do it when active. Um, so if you throw a grenade, then it's going to show like all your stuff down there. Um, kill log, show. So pretend if you see like Soldier 76 or something died, you realize Soldier, Soldier 76 is just around the corner. Then you know that you're going to kill him. So um, awards, show, like all of these just show. Uh, this is my hit indicator, so if I hit someone in like the body, it comes up with white. Headshot color, red, so if I get a headshot, then I know I get a headshot. Kill color, so once they're properly dead, it's a green. And my critical is a blue. Damage base shape, leave it on yes. So, next we are on to the minimap. So, minimap size, 150. It would be like really, really small if it was at the default, but mine is about that big. The reason why you want a bigger minimap size is because the bigger the minimap, the easier it is to see. Pretend if it says there's a guy right around the corner on minimap, it was that small that you couldn't see that. You would go around the corner and just get a shot. Minimap is one of the most important things in the world. Once I did a stream and someone thought I was hacking, but I said no, I'm just like, using my minimap to my advantage as I saw the guy on there. I in most games, I just look at the minimap for most of it. If you don't look at minimap, then that's where you're going wrong. So, all of these just leave the default as the same. Uh, world icons, you don't need any of that really. And then advanced. So, this is very, very important. So, camera shake scale. If you turn it to 100, you, when an explosion goes off, it's going to go mental. But if you turn it to 30%, then it's going to be all good. So, soldier auto leaning, turn that on because that's like the new feature in the new games and it will help you from dying less a lot more hint system hide i don't need know that i'm a battlefield pro <laughs> uh network performance graph hide that aim lead indicator show low ping no and share usage data i would recommend doing no because then that will protect your privacy from ea knowing stuff so the next one, go back, and then we are going to go to audio. So, uh, for default, music is at 100, as you can hear music right now. But I prefer the music to be off. That is why you cannot hear any Battlewood music in this video. Uh, but set your master volume to 100%, and then if you want to change anything, just go down here, and then go to a volume mixer, and then change whatever you want. So you can just go like that. Very, very easy. Um, so, uh, next one, stereo. And then headphones, so I'm using stereo. Oh no, headphones I'm using, not stereo. Um, so the voice, English, and my my team speaks my language. So if you turn that off, if you're on Russian team, if you're on an American team, if you're on a 
German team, they're going to speak German, American and Russian. But I do English just in case they actually want to say something. Um, so yeah, as you can see, right there it says soldiers. Game announcer voice, I'll turn that off as I find it annoying. Announcer voice, male, because I don't know, I never used male before. So I thought, why not? I did used to use female. Uh, voice over IP, I turn that on just in case I need to give a call out. And my volume is 50 for that and I turn my subtitles off. Next one, if you want to be an MLG player, video tab. This is a very, very important tab. So, I use borderless as it's a lot easier to go. See, I can just drag anything onto there. And I, if you're on full screen and you're all tab, your whole game closes. I'll show you what I mean. So, if I press apply, it's just going to go black for a second. Press OK. And then look, if I want to all tab, it goes like that. And then it goes to there. And if you want to all tab back in, you have to go like that. But if you're on boardless, it does reduce a little bit of your FPS, but it's a lot easier if you're a YouTuber slash streamer as you're, you're going to different monitors all the time if you need to type something in chat or anything like that. So that has got our way. So the default for your brightness is 50%. If you do to 100, it looks very, very washed out. So I do 75 as I feel like that is the best thing. Vertical sync, I turn that on, but you can turn that off um, if you aren't recording or anything. The reason why I turn it on uh, with all games is because if you don't turn it on, then OBS can't record at a solid FPS because your game is using too much of your GPU, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, if you're not streaming or anything, do V-Sync off. So, uh, field of view, uh, horizontal, 90 90 again for a vehicle. ADS uh, field of view. So it says. Apply the player selected field of view scale when aiming down the side, iron sight. So yeah, I turn that on. Motion blur, turn it off because it's only good if you're getting low FPS. Like motion blur is in like console games at 30 FPS just so it actually looks fluid. But it's really not. Uh, weapon depth of field. Um, so when you're zooming in, you do not want your actual target to be blurred, do you? So turn that off. Colorblind, I turn that off, even though I, can, I am colorblind, but the other ones aren't very good. Uh, and then I turn all of those off because they reduce your FPS. And I just try and keep my GPU usage as low as possible. I've also overclocked my GPU. I could make a video of that in the future. So high dynamic range. So turn that to auto, so it actually knows what it's doing high dynamic range hdr 10 very very good would recommend it uh dx12 enabled even though my card has dx12 i would recommend turning it off because there has been many many tests on battlefield one that it actually you get more fps if you are have dx11 enabled compared to dx12 i don't know how it works because dx12 should be more optimized and I don't know how exactly that works, but yeah, turn that off. So resolution scale, keep that to 100%. Um, if you wanna, so I'm I'm in 1080p. I think it's if you wanna like go in 4K. I'm pretty sure do 200%. But um, if you're getting bad frames in game, just go and down and down and down. It will look really bad though, but. It's better than changing your re actual resolution. UI scale factor, 50. Frame rate limiter, 200. I have um, I have VSync on, so it doesn't really matter. GPU memory restriction. People say you get better performance if it's off, but I leave mine on as I have a 2 gig card. Uh, graphics quality, custom. So, turn everything to low apart from mesh quality. Because then you actually, if there's someone in the far distance, you'll be able to see them. And you don't, if you want to get the maximum amount of FPS and actually be like a god player, these are the best settings for you. So turn everything to low, apart from mesh quality. So it says sets for quality of meshes, a higher setting may reduce performance. But once you've got everything on low, then it's all good. And my key bindings, I haven't changed anything. Um, you may be wondering, it's going to look really bad because everything's on low, but no. I'm going to go on empty server and show you what it is like in game. Okay, so here we are in game. My GPU usage is only 50%, so it's been hardly used. And 
My mini map is absolutely huge, so you may want to turn that down. Uh, so if you do want to turn it down, go to gameplay mini map. I'm going to turn it to 135, as I feel like 150 is way too big. So yeah, as you go, there we go. The game still does look good. Like if you go into the ground and stuff, I just heard an explosion. But yeah, pretend if someone's over there, you want a 360 no scope them. It's very very easy. To do. You can see that this is an ultra, but if you do want the maximum about amount of FPS, then this is what you got to do. I will show you how much FPS I am actually getting, so I am going to turn off VSync right now. So my current recording is actually lagging like a mo motherfucker right now, because I'm using like all of my GPU, as I told, that's why I turned on VSync. But look, look at the bottom. It's like over 100 FPS. If I look into the sky, 140, 50 FPS. 150 FPS. Absolutely insane. I'm going to turn on VSync again. But yeah, that's everything that I have for today's video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you have, then please smack the like button. I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, this has been Wolf Sickness. Thank you guys for watching. If this has helped with your FPS or anything, or even if you're trying to go try hard mode. But yeah, thank you lads. My name is Boom Wall Sickness. Battlefield is coming to the channel, baby. Peace out. Goodbye, everybody.